Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadong Stepon, but built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Chessington World of Adventures. Now, bit of a disclaimer, I think this is going to be, categorically, 1 million percent, the longest video we have done on Chessington World of Adventures. 1 million percent. Unsure yet, depending on ta how much time we've spent on this, um, if it's the longest video on the channel. But it's definitely going to be the longest video on Chessington World Adventures. Now, this is all about discussing 2020. That's the sort of main focus of this video. But we're going to have a look at the long term development plan uh, that was submitted back in 2017, as well as taking the newly set lodge plans from November 2018 um, and discuss what we're thinking is going to happen here based on what we've seen from the long term development plan. Of course, things can change in the development plan. Things can be added, things can be removed, as I'm going to talk about with the lodge uh, development. Um, so just as a dis that's just as a disclaimer. So it could be the longest video on the channel, definitely the longest video on Chessington. And I hope you guys grab your popcorn, grab your coke, sit back, and just relax and enjoy this video. Now, as a little uh, pre-warner, I'm not going to include Site 2 in the pictures because Site 2 is an existing glamping accommodation attraction behind the Lorikeet Lagoon, uh, which opened between 2016 and 2019, as said on the long-term development plan. But the stuff on there, like the lodge accommodation that was planned between that time, that hasn't been said yet, so that will be included. But that's set, that's the first thing we're going to be talking about as the unsure section of the of the development plan before going into different time periods and different stuff that's been planned out by the long term development plan. So let's start then with site number one. Now site number one is that lodge accommodation. I put that in the unsure column because of course it's past the 2016 to 2019 uh, opening period. Uh, we still haven't got this lodge accommodation. The plans have only just been resubmitted last November, so um, that's why it's unsure when this is going to open. So let's talk about what we know about the project uh, from the 2017 plans and what stayed from 2017 into the revitalised 2018 plans uh, for the for the lodges. So basically, the location first of all has not changed, as you can see on your already on your screen. It will be located to the north of the current Wanyama Reserve and the Zufari Ride area, and to the northwest of the current hotels. Uh, you're expected to see 45 safari style lodges uh, to fit the Wanyama Reserve and Safari Hotel theming, and it's predominantly aimed for one or two night stays for groups between four to seven people. There is a choice of standard lodges, which are 34 buildings located northwest of the site, and 11 premium lodge buildings located directly south of the standard lodges, offering views across the Wanyama Reserve. Now, the watering hole bar and lounge and a giraffe feeding platform uh, were scrapped from the plans in the 2018 revisit of the plans. Uh, the lodges will be laid out similar to Enchanted Village at Alton Towers Resort, which opened in 2014. Um, they're sort of laid out next to each other, so that's the sort of style we're looking at here. Uh, guests will eat, drink, and check in via the Safari Hotel now. So before, uh, you had your own check-in desk, you had the bar and lounge, which is of course known as the watering hole. That's all been scrapped from the plans. Uh, and you'll now be able to just to do that in the Safari Hotel um, sort of facilities. And internal changes are going to be made to accommodate the new lodges in the Safari Hotel, where you can check in for the for the uh, lodges, as well as you, as well as the Safari Hotel check-in desk. You can also check into the accommodation via the Lodge app that they're going to be setting up now. That was mentioned on the 2018 plans, so it looks like this Lodge app thing. This, um, I'm assuming it's not going to be a separate app you can download. I'm pretty sure that's going to be on the Chessington app. You can download the Chessington World Adventures app right now on your iOS and Android devices. Uh, I've certainly got it. Um, but you can download, if you have the Chessington app, I'm pretty sure they're going to put like a Lodge app thing on the Chessington app when they update it next. So uh, when the Lodge combination is completed, green light, construction, finished, opened... I'm sure they're going to have this Lodge app completed with the Chessington World Adventures app for the season that it opens. So that's just sort of a look then at the Lodges first of all. Now I've put this in the unsure because we don't know when this is going to open. Uh, but we're going to come back to that in a little bit. So, let's go on then with the period 2020 to 2022. 
Now this one's a very interesting one to follow. So starting off then with Site 3. So remember I said that Site 2 was the existing glamping accommodation. We're going to go back to glamping at the end of the video because there's a site that's still been talked about for camping grounds in the long term development plan but could be a possible expansion. So I'll talk about that later on. Uh, so like, as you know, Site 2, existing glamping accommodation site. So we're moving on to Site 3, uh, which is, you can see on your screen now. Fandabidorzi. Now this is for a reuse of an existing building for potential new attractions. So currently, um, we're not sure what that building holds at the minute, as is Site 9, which I'll come on to later. However, the three talked about options for this hotel attraction is a soft play area, an indoor trampolines, or a 3D cinema. Now, a 3D cinema would be fantastic for Chessington World Adventures, a great family attraction. However, I think that would work in the theme park. I don't think it should just be for the hotels. Now, I'm pretty sure they're going to do like a path for park guests and a path for hotel guests. And I'm sure that hotel guests are going to get some kind of beverage or some kind of exclusive to this attraction. So maybe hotel guests get one hour exclusive ride time and there's going to be two entrances into the 3D, into the 3D cinema. An entrance from the hotels and an entrance from the theme parks. You may not see it from the writing, but I can see a clear pathway that could be created from the building on the other side to uh, the park. Now I'm pretty sure, as you can see in the middle there, in between the building that I've circled in yellow for the attraction and the existing Safari Hotel building, you can see a bit of pathway in between there. I've got a feeling they'll close that off and it's actually going to be closed off. They'll do a bit of plantry, take some of the pathway and put a bit of plantry in there. But they're going to have a pathway in connecting both buildings uh, as part of the queue line for the attraction. Or they'll, or they'll take away the path and they'll use it as queue line from the hotel for the attraction as well as having a queue line from the park into the hotel, into the attraction uh, via a separate queue line. So there's going to be two separate queue lines in my opinion, one for the hotel guests and one for the park guests. So both the hotel guests and the park guests get in there, but I think hotel guests are going to get like an ERT on it. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking if it's going to be a 3D cinema, indoor tr trampolines or soft play area, either way, that's going to be included as just a hotel thing. Uh, I've got a feeling, like I said, with the pathway with the 3D cinema attraction option, uh, I think they're going to close that pathway off and just make it into a bit of plantery, but have a path connecting it to the hotel. So I think that's the way forward with this one. Um, moving on then to Site 4. Now this is for a redevelopment of a new ride or attraction. Again, part of the 2022 period. Um, you know, you're looking at... Um, this site on your screen right now. Uh, find out does. Now this is nearby the Western Lowland Gorillas and Reindeer Enclosures. Now this is, um, it was a front lawn uh, right uh, near to, uh, near to Room on the Broom Magical Journey. Of course used to be known as Hocus Pocus Hall in the plans. Um, now I do believe uh, that this will be an animal attraction, not a ride. I think it's too near to the zoo part of the uh, theme park. Uh, for it to be an attraction and of course with the animals nearby it might you know affect them in some way so I do think this is going to be a new animal enclosure what it is we don't know uh, but again it should be pretty interesting to see what's going to happen with this moving on to site 5 now this is an interesting one so a redevelopment of a new ride or animal attraction as per site 4 now this is the tiny truckers it's seen on your screen now tiny truckers and Tony's crazy car site now you wonder why I've put both sites together as one site. Now this, my guys, is because um, when I saw the uh, long-term development plan image from 2017 on the article uh, on South Parks, big shout out to South Parks if you're watching, um, it looked like it was highlighted together instead of two separate sites. It might just be the glow, but if it is two separate sites, then I could see two separate attractions on this site. Um, It'd be interesting to see what would replace Tiny Truckers because it's such a small site. So I think that the uh, blue and white carousel that you can already see on your screen, which apparently is not listed on the ride app as a ride, uh, especially since they've got the Chessington Adventure Tree carousel. So I think they'll, whatever that is, that blue and white tent thing, I think they're going to remove that as well, uh, as well as Tiny Truckers, and they're going to do a nice flat ride on that site. 
Toadie's Crazy Cars. Now, immediately people would say coaster, but I'm going to go on to a coaster a little bit later, and most of you will probably know what it is. Uh, I think this is going to be another flat ride site. I believe that Toadie's Crazy Cars will be removed uh, in the future. It is highlighted for development. Now, if you want to see a separate video, go back into the Chessington playlist after you've watched this video and watch a video that we did on what could replace Toadie's Crazy Cars. But I definitely think we could see a flat ride on this site. I don't think it's going to be a coaster unless it's something really compact, like I said in that video. So I think we're going to see, I think we're expecting to see two flat rides. One replacing Tony's Crazy Cars and one replacing the Tiny Trucker site with that blue and white tent looking thing uh, that doesn't seem to be listed on any of the things on the app. Moving on then to site 6, so this also part of um, the redevelopment for 2020 to 2022. Uh, is a redevelopment of a resort attraction or back of house facilities. Now this, for those of you who don't know where this is, this is where the Bush Dog, Binturong and Asiatic Lion enclosures are located. Now this is going to be a redevelopment of this animal attraction. Now of course it said resort attraction, it didn't say ride, it didn't say animal, so it could be anything. So. I am thinking definitely 100% this is going to be an animal redevelopment. Uh, they're going to uh, have these animals relocated somewhere temporarily, uh, but make sure they're still in good condition, healthy, etc., which I know they do. Uh, they're really good with the animals at Chessington, so I know they'll have a, a temporary plan in place. But I think while they're putting the temporary plan in place, they're going to be uh, restoring those sort of enclosures so you get all three loaded up. Now you can see a bit of field in the plans as well, you can see this tiny little building on, in this sort of grass area. I believe that is going to be removed, whatever is in that building, I'm not sure, but whatever it is is going to be moved to somewhere else, and that building is going to be demolished, and they're going to use that field area to expand on the enclosures. So, I think we're going to see three brand new enclosures for these three types of animals, and that is going to be that. Now, the next one. Now. Site 7. Now, this is interesting. Now, this is going to be the site, as you can see on your screen now, of the brand new roller coaster set to open in between this period at Chessington Modern Adventures Resort. Now, this is the lawn area opposite Dragon's Fury. It has been listed on the long term development plan, uh, and I believe they will go ahead with this. Now, the big rumours uh, back in the past, about over the last couple of years, is either a pirate water coaster or a jungle themed intermin um, sort of family launch coaster like a, like a Yukon Quad at La Paul or a Juvelin at Dejure Summerland. An ATV themed family launch coaster. Now there is a brilliant No Limits 2 video. Uh, that someone created a Chessington Intimate Family Launch Coaster, that ATV type launch coaster, uh, called, I, be I believe it's Quad Run, or it's something extended in the name, like Quad Run Jungle Escape. It's something like that. But I think Quad Run would be perfect for the park. I think it would be brilliant. I think the water coaster could still be a possibility, but it would have to be somewhere else in the park, but I, did, I really can't see where it would go. Uh, but I do believe that this will be a new coaster and I think we're more likely to see an intimate family launch coaster. Now you're probably thinking, what, what year am I thinking this is going to open? Well, I'm going to explain all that after we've looked at all 10 sites all across the periods of time. So uh, stay tuned for the end of the video where you get to see my predictions on when everything's going to open up. Moving on then to site 8. Now this is the final one for the 2020 to 2022 opening period. Uh, before we move on to sites 9 and 10 for the 2023 to 2025 period. So, site 8, again, is a redevelopment of a resort attraction or backup house facility. And this, of course, if you don't know, this is the Children's Zoo site near Scorpion, Ex Scorpion Express, which is the rethemed runaway uh, train. Now, you can say it's part of the zoo with the uh, Children's Zoo in there. However... I think there is still a possibility of it being turned into a flat ride site for the theme park. Either way, they could either go the left way, uh, well if you turn it around it goes sort of to the, to the right, uh, which is more the zoo direction, or you can move the uh, sort of ride location to the left a bit, uh, which points towards the theme park uh, and opposite the zoo. So you could go either way on this one, either a brand new uh, revamped, redeveloped children's zoo, 
or you could go for some kind of resort attraction for the theme park. Uh, either way, I think we're looking at something for that site over those sort of uh, boundaries. Moving on then to site 9, uh, which is the staff facilities upgrade. Uh, again, this is next to the proposed hotel attraction uh, that we talked about back on site 3. Um, so basically this one is uh, just normal staff facility upgrades, not much to talk about with this one, I think it's just going to be an update to the building etc. Uh, and again just upgrading staff facilities really, just to make it a little bit better of use. Finally then, Site 10, so the staff facility upgrades uh, predicted to open in the period of 2023 to 2025 and this one as well, so Site 10 on your screen now. Now this is the animal enclosure upgrade or camping grounds. Now of course this is near to Lorikeen Lagoon uh, and the original Chessington Glamping Accommodation site. Now, I believe they could go for some form of animal enclosure to, to the back of the glamping. However, I think the main possibility with this one is uh, an expansion to the camping grounds. I think we're going to see an expanded camping grounds in my opinion. So I think this is going to be like a a new phase two to the Chessington Glamping Accommodation site. I think that's what we're looking at here. So there we go, so that is all the sites. Now before we leave this video here, we're gonna sort of talk about opening years. Now, the new coaster, I'm gonna say straight away, 2021. 2021 will be the year. Uh, now of course, you know, I know Merlin have just gone through that whole takeover with the Danish family that owns part of Legoland and sort of part of the Lego group with Blackstone Core, etc. So, obviously there'll be a change in the way that they open ma major attractions at all the theme parks. However, 2021 will, I believe, follow the same pattern as the per previous years, like 2019, 2020. I think they're going to do one major addition to, uh, to one of the parks every year. So, next year is going to be Gardaland's turn with their Legoland Water Park. And then I think 2021, it will be Chessington World Adventures' turn. And then, 2022 will be Thought Park's turn in my opinion and then they're gonna and then 2023 is gonna be the queue where they start putting more than one major investment into more than one Merlin Park. Legoland, independent company, attractions, anything really in my opinion. Um, so if we're talking about 2020, I'm gonna predict that they're going to do one of the animal enclosure sites. Um, so Basically with this one then, I'm thinking they're either going to do Site 4, which is the one near Room on the Broom, or they're going to do um, the Site 8, which is the Children's Zoo site. I don't think, I think with Site 6 they could have closed it off by now, so I think that they're going to close the Children's Zoo at the end of the summer holidays, or they're going to sort of block off that lawn area at the end of the summer holidays near Room on the Broom and then get started work on it. Uh, so I think that's going to be 2020, just focusing on the animal enclosures. 2021 will be the coaster. And then, 2022. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be... I think the attraction for the hotel could be 2021 as well. Just as a little something for the hotel guests and something new for the park as well, just in terms of rides. And then 2022 just leaves the rides and attractions um, for Tiny Truckers and Tony's Crazy Cars site. So I do believe that... 2020 or 2021 will be the final year of Tony Crazy Cars and the Tiny Truckers, as well as that blue and white tent thing. Um, and they're going to transform all of that into um, new rides and attractions, as well as those Bush Dogs, Asiatic Lions, and uh, um, that animal, that uh, Bin Turong. Um, I think that's going to get redeveloped for 2022 as well. So, just to recap, 2020. Children's Zoo closed, um, possible Tiny Truckers and Tony's Crazy Cars closed for future years, uh, but mainly for 2020 it'll be the Children's Zoo and that lawn area near Room on the Broom getting transformed into animal or attraction redevelopments, as well as the new attraction for the hotel. 2021 will be the brand new coaster, and 2022 uh, will be the brand new attractions replacing Truckers, Toadies, uh, as well as that Bush Dogs, uh, Binturong and Asiatic Lions redevelopment. 2023 to 2025. Now, that, I believe, will be the time where we'll, I think 2023 
will be a camping grounds expansion. Uh, 2024 will be staff facility upgrades. And I think that 2025 will be the year for the lodge accommodation. The, the new African safari lodges near the Wanyama Reserve and the safari ride experience. I think that will be 2025. Uh, just to get all their plans in order. However, there could be a bit of a switch around. 2024 uh, and 2025 be the camping grounds expansion and the... Um, the staff facility upgrades and then 2023 be the lodge accommodation however the, with the lodge accommodations new plans being revisited in 2018 there's a possibility that the lodge accommodation could be the same year as the attraction for the safari hotel and the animal upgrades the two animal upgrades that i'm predicting for next year so the, there's a possibility that the lodge could be next year however i think that's very very unlikely um with a new coaster coming in 2021, I can't see a major development coming next year. Uh, so it could just be the animal changes. So I think in terms of predicting years for this lodge accommodation, I am predicting um, around about the 2022 to 2025 mark. Uh, just because it's one year after uh, the major coaster. So I think it's in between those four years where we're looking at the next major development, which would be this lodge accommodation resort investment. So there we go. So that's my sort of predictions then following on from that long-term development plan. So 2020, I think we're going to be seeing two animal attraction refurbishments as well as a brand new attraction uh, near to the Safari Hotel. I think there will be links to the Safari Hotel, but I think the entrance and the exit and the queue line is going to be towards the theme park. I think that's where we're looking for this brand new attraction, replacing side three. So there we go. So that is a big long video today from Chessington to World Adventure Resort. So I hope you guys really love this video, an in-depth look as to what we could look for the future of Chessington World Adventures. So basically this whole thing is looking at 2020 and the long-term future at Chessington World Adventures. So I hope you guys uh, really love this video. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now guys, my name is Curtis Chad Dogs the Born, but built for theme park news. Keep on the coastline and I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.